can no, I stay here? Wait. I don't put that out the way. It's only going to sit on the Just leave it in the box. Yeah. 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 Y
very tooth blessing which he had been given. We invite the less fortunate to share with us at this meal and also at other times. May the Jewish people, wherever they are, those of them still deprived of total freedom, enjoy that liberty at this time next year. I see where it says assembled and everybody is is assembling so beautiful. It's 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 pleasure. Okay, everyone read when it says assembled. Assemble. Let's all read. Wake up. Assemble. Starting now. Ready? Yes. May our brethren in Israel speedily attain freedom, freedom from, from fear and want, and be privileged to build a symbol of peace for all the nations. Will you help me in that one? Okay. Now the wine cups have to be refilled. Oh, you're, you're carrying all these things here, right? This is disgusting. Well, it was an accident. I didn't know how to Mom, let it go. You just want to have some Latin time. Let's hold up the cups. Okay. Nice Jewish boy. Okay. Let's go see. This is yours, sir? Where's your You have to symbolically fill it. I'll have two drops in it. That one is nobody. Okay. Okay. Fill the cups, Ronnie, over there, and we, then you can done. Rest We're done. We're done. We just did it. I, pa I passed this on to you. Let us know Jeff. if you're ready then. Yeah, right. I'm all set. Okay. Yeah. I'm asking these questions directly to Grandpa, and I expect an answer. Oh. Go ahead. I got. I got to hear you. Wait a minute. Who's gonna say it? Jeffrey. He's doing it here. Mani, she doesn't know how to say it. Wait. She wants to say it with you. Just a minute. Who does? Do it slowly. You want to say it with him? Why don't she? Does she know how to do it? No. She knows right. how to do it in Hebrew, but yeah. she'll only do it if somebody does it real slow with her. But I don't know if she'll even do it this time. Do you want to do it with me? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you can follow along in your head. I'm gonna start right. over. Listen to me, and then next year you're gonna do it. Ready? Man ishtano halal hazeh mikol halelos. Shebukha halelos oni wolchlin hametsu matso halal hazeh kole matso. Shebukha halelos oni wolchlin sheor yirakos halal hazeh moror. Shebukha halelos eno anu matbilin afilu paamechas halal hazeh shete feomi. Shebukha halelos oni wolchlin Bain Yoshvinu Fein Mitsubin, Halal Hazeh, Kuwanu Mitsubin. Okay? Next year it's all yours. There you go, Jeffrey. Next year, do the same thing. Right. We should now answer the four basic questions concerning Passover which you have asked. Samuel. Once we were slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt, and the Lord, in his goodness and mercy, brought us forth from that land with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Had he not rescued us from the hand of the despot, surely we and our children would still be enslaved, deprived of liberty and human dignity. We therefore gather year after year to retell this ancient story. For in reality, it is not ancient, but eternal in message and in spirit. It proclaims man's burning desire to preserve liberty and justice for all. The first question that concerns the use of matzah. We eat these in leavened cakes. Remember that our ancestors, in the age to leave Egypt, could not wait for bread to rise, so we moved them from the ovens are still flat. As we partake of the menorah on this night, that we might taste some of the fish. Remind ourselves how bitter is the lot of one caught in the grip of slavery. We dip twice in the course of this service, greens and salt water, Barrois and Once to replace these with gratefulness, 
and wants to sweeten bitterness and suffering. For what what question asked you why at this time are you in a reclining position? To recline at meal time to nation bathes with the sign of a free man. On this, this night of Passover, we demonstrate our sense of complete freedom by reclining during our repast. Our four sons that the Torah speak, describing thereby four types of Jews. The wise son, the wicked son, the simple one, and the young one, who does not know enough to inquire. The wise son asks, what mean these customs in which we engage, which the Lord commanded to observe? His regard to his wives, he sees himself, so he knows how he is obligated to observe the traditions of Passover. The wicked son asks, what mean these customs in which you engage? which the Lord commanded you to observe. He is regarded as wicked since he excludes himself from the obligated group, so seeing that Jewish duties are meant for others, not for him. The simple one with complete unconstraint, regarded simply because of his indifference as what is all this about. To him you shall respond, know well that the Lord did marvelous things in your eyes. By redeeming us with a mighty hand, it is therefore incumbent upon us to remember and to observe. The young one not yet able to inquire is to be told the story of Passover in accordance with the biblical command. And thou shalt tell thy son in that day, saying, It is because of that which the Lord did for me when I came forth out of Egypt. It is incumbent upon us to emulate the wise son by remembering our duties to our people and our faith. <coughs> we, must, we must share in the obligation to advance Torah and the Jewish way of life. To remove ourselves from these endeavors, looking to others to carry the burden, is to fail in our responsibility. The wise son, the wise Jew is he who understands the importance of his personal participation in all efforts for the benefit of our people and for the betterment of mankind. Bless this God who fulfills his promises, who is ever faithful to his servants who trust in him. The Lord was all the events of Israel's bondage, related to Abraham the future of his children. Then did he describe the years of their service on foreign soil, tormented by a strange and hostile people. Twas then that he did also promise to rescue and redeem them, in justice reign. Great has been the Lord's divine promise, fulfilled and realized in days of yore. Great have been their promises, promises from all ages, source of hope for the stricken and downtrodden people. Okay, we raise our cups. In every age, oppresses those against us, to crush our spirit and bring us low. From the hands of all these tyrants and conquerors, the Lord did rescue and restore his people. Not in Egypt alone did Israel face the threat of total annihilation. In many lands and many nations, the flame of Jewish life faced the fierce winds of tyranny. In all of these battles and desperate struggles, God's help and guidance assured our survival. Our hope is strong and our faith unshakable that no enemy shall ever triumph over Israel. Beautiful. You're doing a very good. Thank you. You're doing a very good. Thank you for cooperating. It's a pleasure. We need it to be straightened out. It's a pleasure to sit near you. Who was the next participant? Did we answer? Participant. Who was the last one? That's the, 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 okay, it's Jim Saint Ron. Okay. But wait, then Perry doesn't get the big one. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. Okay. He knows it by heart. Scripture tells that in the land of Canaan, at the time of a famine, our patriarch Jacob sent his sons to Egypt to purchase food. They also sought permission from Pharaoh to allow their flocks to graze, for the pasture lands in Canaan were barren. It was not their intention to settle in Egypt. Merely to visit and find relief from one. There were but 70 people who arrived in Egypt. 
but in time their number increased. Soon they grew also in strength and became a mighty people. The Egyptians came to fear them, for they reasoned in time of war they might join with enemy nations and become a threatening force. They therefore decided to subdue them with forced labor and to reduce their numbers by casting male children into the river. Taskmasters were placed over the Hebrews, who whipped and tortured them, compelling them to make bricks and build great cities for Pharaoh. The task was <laughs> inhuman and oh, too great to bear. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's always used to get it. He always gets Why don't you read it together? Yeah, they read it the, together. The, the Jewish people together. cried out to God, and he heard their cry. He called to Moses, charging him to appear before Pharaoh and to demand that the people be released. Pharaoh was obstinate obstinate and would not heed the word of God. It was then that Moses foretold the punishment which the Almighty would bring upon Pharaoh and the Egyptians. Plagues would be visited upon the land of Egypt in which many would perish. Pharaoh defied God and placed his trust in his own powers. In the face of all pleas, he refused to free the Jewish people. In consequence, the plagues descended upon Egypt. Many perished and the suffering was great. Pharaoh nonetheless remained obstinate and he would not yield. When the tenth plague was visited upon them, the death of the firstborn sons of Egyptians, a great cry went up throughout Egypt, and Pharaoh finally ordered Moses to take his people out of the land. Terrific. Very good thing. Very good thing. Very, very, very sorry about that. When men sorry. defy the will of God, they bring pain and suffering upon themselves. God's law aims for the welfare and happiness of all mankind. To defy his law and to do evil brings destruction upon those who want to it. When Pharaoh defied the command of God to release the Jewish people, he invited adversity upon himself and his own people. Uh, Cheryl, will excuse me, sweetheart. Uh, I I it's a short paragraph. If you can't say it, then You can say it. That's all right. It's a short paragraph. Uh, through the plagues, uh, though the plagues that were visited upon the Egyptians were the result of their own evil, we do not rejoice over the downfall of the faith. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Judaism regards okay. all men as children of God, even enemies who seek to destroy our people. When for the sake of our welfare, they met with suffering and death, we mourn their loss and express sorrow over their destruction. A full cup of the symbol of complete joy. So we celebrate the triumph of a, of a sacred cause, happiness is not complete, so long as others have to be sacrificed for its sake. We shall therefore diminish the wine in our cups as we recall the plague visited upon the Egyptians to give expression to our sorrow over the bases, over the losses which each plague exacted. We now recite the list of ten plagues, pouring of wine in each one as mentioned. We are ready.
will sing the next chorus. Jack one, that yeah. one? Oh, come on. You Please. look good in Hebrew. Go ahead. Please. Nobody's watching. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. 